Hey, it's Jimmy Lee Lara, the Sock Snob, and I wanted to do a quick reef update video. It's been a couple months, I think, since I've done one, so I wanted to keep you posted. So uh, let's dig right in. There have been some minor changes. I ended up moving some things around, and it all surrounds this guy, this Colt Coral in the middle here, was uh, at war with uh, my neon green Cinellaria, and it won. Uh, so one of the neon green Cinellaria, the tree form, has died completely completely just withered away and it was too late before I realized that this was the culprit. I do have another neon green Cinellaria, the cabbage leather form over here, uh, the flat form of it, and it is doing well again. I'm keeping them as far apart as I can. Uh, as you can see, it's growing back. I can, if you notice there, you'll see the little spots. The brown spots are some flat worms on there. I have, I'm doing a lot of research, but I'm hearing mixed things about flatworms, you know, that they ultimately only eat detritus and aren't doing any real damage to the coral, but I, as a precaution, would rather just get rid of them. So I'm going to be researching how I can get rid of those. Another thing that I am going to be getting rid of probably tomorrow are the Aptasia growing in these Vietnam zoanthids. So... Um, bit of annoyance, but nonetheless, I think uh, easy to deal with if I just purchase a kit. But on this side, I also have toadstool leather corals, which also do not uh, work so well with a coat coral. So if you can, again, keep those separate. So I have two of those here. There's a smaller one back there. And along with some uh, button polyps all anchoring this side, I have a Montipora that I have been uh, kind enough to revive and trying to bring back to life um, slowly but surely I do think it is happening but hey we'll see um, the large gorgonian is still going strong here in the center of the tank when I change things around I also increase the flow in the tank and I think it just loves it all right down below here we have a a can um, so I bought a frag of Acan a couple months ago and it is doing well as you can see. I think it likes the tank because you can see the four new heads forming on the left side there. So that's always a good sign when things are just blooming. So it started out with those three heads um, and there are four new ones now growing. A um, little mini um, feather duster worm there. But the um, clownfish, the perks here, actually host in that toadstool. So they sleep there all night and they seem to enjoy it. Also over here, you'll see my pulsing xenia are just growing like crazy. So remember these started with just two frags and now they are have spread quite well, <laughs> to say the least. There is an orange sponge. There's my uh, lawnmower blenny and he... It's a lot of fun to watch. A lot of people who visit me say he is their favorite fish. So there we go. There's the Bengay Cardinal over there hanging out. He's kind of solitary, but you know, hey. <laughs> 